when we have these people, when they are coming inside with so much of grandeur, the members of the academic council, a big round of applause, the members of the syndicate, we are having the deals in pairs. We request each one of you to kindly take your respective seats. We are having the Dean of Arts, Dean of Science and Technology, Dean of Commerce, Dean of Education. We have the Registrar Evaluation, Professor P. L. Verma, the Registrar Professor Kishore Kumar CK, the recipients of honorary degrees, the Chief Guest, Justice S. Abdul Nazir. We have the Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor P. Subramanya Yadapadikaya. We have the Mace Bearer, Professor Manjunath Pajabi, Dean of Science and Technology. Warmest welcome.
I declare the convocation open. This convocation of Bangalore University has been called to award honorary degree to Srimati Hemvati B. Hegdeji for contribution in the field of education and social services. Sri Hari Krishna Punnarur for contribution in the field of social services and uh, literature and Sri Devadasa copy card for contribution in the field of fine art, pool drama, cinema and also to confer degree on candidates who have successfully completed the examination held for the purpose and have been certified to be worthy of the same. Let the candidates be now presented. Sir, I, on behalf of the syndicate and the academic council of Mangalore University, have the honor to present before you the following three eminent personalities who have contributed significantly to our society in the areas of education, social service, literature and fine arts for the confirmation of the honorary doctorate degrees honoris causa of Mangal University. First, Srimati Hemavati V. Hekade, wife of Pujya V. Virendra Hekade, Sri Kshetra Dharmasthana, is a true source of inspiration to lakhs of women in general and rural women in Karnataka in particular. Her vision, thoughts and inspiring initiation of various women empowerment activities made progressive transformation in the life of rural women in the state. She is dedicating herself for educating the rural women and key to rural women empowerment. She is a voracious reader and also a literature enthusiast. Her writings column called Gelati in Nirantara and Magaligundu Patra in Manjuwadi magazine is an inspiration to many young women and they eagerly wait for her column. She is very keen on art, culture and drama. She started Samuha Ujire in the year 1992, which is a unique platform for appreciating and promoting various cultural programs by the rural talents. She is the trustee of Sri Kshetra Dharmasthala Rural Development Project since its inception. She is a president of Jnana Vikasa Women Empowerment Program. She is also the trustee of Dharmautana Trust and Shantivana Trust, Janata Shikshan Samiti Dharwa. She is the board member of Sri Dharmasthala Manjunateshwa Education Trust Ujire, Sri Dharmasthala Sri Ramodhyaga Siri Gramodhyaga Samste, and the president of Shavika Ashrama Karkala. Jnana Vikasa is a forum for women to develop their skills, empower themselves in the rural community. This program has reached out to more than 5,000 villages, bringing in 3 lakh women. Similarly, women are also trained on life skills like family harmony, personal hygiene, children education, nutrition, self-employment, and utilization of government schemes. Approximately 40,000 awareness programs were conducted under this program during the current year. Srimati Hemavati V. Hegade is also called as Master Shri by the people because of her motherly affection by caring nature, particularly towards poor and helpless. Her vision, thoughts and action made meaningful transformation in the lives of lakhs of rural women and poor people in the state of Karnataka. She is a change maker in the life of rural women. For her contribution to education and social service, Mangalore University deems it an honor to confer the degree of Doctor of Literature, Honoris Causa, on Srimati Hemavati V. Hegade. Now, may I request your Excellency, the Chancellor, to confer the degree on Srimati Hemavati V. Hegade and present her the degree. of migrated laborers from Bijapur district. He manages and runs the institutions like Mulki Education Society, Sharada Educational Society, Vasudeva Memorial Trust, ITA and many high schools and primary schools. 
is sponsored Raga Taranga Institute for the furtherance of music, dance and drama and runs Sri Devi Dance Center at Mangalore. Punarur organized many free eye camps, benefited by more than 1,000 patients with free treatment and spectacles, financial assistance for reconstruction of more than 500 houses who lost due to natural calamity, encouraged widow marriages, liberally donated to differently able and aged, organized many family planning camps, camps for creating awareness among the public about AIDS, renovation of TB clinic building, electrification of local animal husbandry hospital, etc. Donated school uniforms and books to poor school children and paid the college fees of many poor children to support their higher studies. He has undertaken a mama project of housing colony consisting of 100 individual Pakkarada, Karnataka for distribution to the homeless poor people free of cost. The total cost of this project exceeds rupees 1.5 crores. He was the managing trustee of most famous temples of Udupi and Dakshinagata districts such as Sri Mukambika Temple at Kullu and Sri Durga Parameshwari Temple Mulchi and served as the president of many temple renovation committees in Dakshinagata district. Being a Lions District Governor of District 324-D4 has done excellent service for which Lions International has awarded many Lions International awards for the meritorious service of render. As a member of State Advisory Committee of National Savings Organization, Government of India has done commendable work which is lauded by the Department at the service for the development of Konkani, Tulu and Kannada literature. For his contribution towards the building of a healthy society, he received several awards including distinguished Karnataka Rajasava Award in 2004. For his contribution to social service and literature, Mangalore University deems it an honor to confer the degree of Doctor of Literature Pandari Skasa on Sri Hari Krishna Punarur. Now may I request your excellency the Chancellor to confer the degree on Sri Hari Krishna Punarur. A great artist of Tulunadu, Tulu Theatre House, and the Tulu Film Fraternity. A wonderful writer, director, storyteller, lyricist, singer, producer, comedian, and a wonderful artist is loved widely across Tulunadu. He is a great artist and mentor to thousands of young artists living in and around the world today. An undisputed star of Tulu drama and film industry for over 30 years now, continue to rule hearts of his fans across the world as Telikeda Bulli. Though a drama show called Bale Chaparka, stated in the year 1989 at Shakti Nagar, was a major turning point in Kapikar's life and was able to produce hundreds of fine and versatile artists by organizing a team called Chaparka Tanda. Devas Kapikar composed and directed about 55 dramas with utmost dedication, hard work, sincere efforts, and also overcoming humiliations at times. He acted, produced, directed, and performed at Gandetan, Heer Dora, Kushmakar Vimala, Namaskara Master, and Still Counting. Kapitan received several awards, including the Distinguished Karnataka Rajasa Award in recognition of fine contributions to Tulu theatre and film industry. Apart from directing, producing, and acting in Tulu films, directed many Tulu movies, and soon he is debuting to Kannada industry as director in Purushottamana Prasanga. He is the source of livelihood to many artists and technicians through his film institution, Bully Movies. As the famous proverb says, Arumutta the Sopilla, there seems no field that haven't touched by him. It may be acting, direction, singing, lyrics, writing, storytelling, production, etc. For his contribution to fine arts, that is especially through drama and cinema, Mangalore University deems it an honor to confer the degree of Doctor of Literature on the Kausa on Sri Devadasa Kapika. Now, may we go to the and present with the degree. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chancellor of Bangalore University, I admit Srimati Hemavati V. Hegreji, Sri Hari Krishna Ji, Unaru, and Sri Devadasa Amrari, Kosa of the University and in token thereof, 
I present them the honorary degree and authority them to wear the hood obtained at the insignia of the said degree. Ganita Vita Palati Patikade, Manavika Nikayada, Doctor of Philosophy, Master of Arts, Master of Social Work, Master of Visual Arts, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Social Work, Bachelor of Arts, Human Resource Development, Bachelor of Visual Arts, Padavi Kalika Amaragi Ora, Yavi and Opis of the Dene. Our Raya Padavi Kalika Angi Persa Dene to practice with Dene. Manavika Nikayada, Padavi Padavi Padavi, Ella Perth for Yendunito. Kuladi pati kali ke bandi si, sama sahaja dengan kulit kuladi. Malam ini kami kaya dah, upas kita jinna dah pada kita bijak tak kerja kalau, awal dasar kalau tu kerja dah hagi, wedi ke ke bandu, kuladi pati kali ke bandi si, pada kita bau mana, matu pada itu petra kalau tu swika si, sama sahaja kali ke hindu ni kalau. Kanada, pertama rank, sarikari pertama daripada college, kalau pih jadi ada sahaja tengkar ini tu. Dalam sekolah apa bermula dari kerja semua kita kita dah pada kita. Sri Mati Wasan Tayyab, anak tanah yang mati terpaksa saya sangat tanah yang ada di bawah mata. Golden Jubilee Kanada Film Festival semua yang ada di bawah mata. Sri Kerala di Super Awas semua yang ada di bawah mata. Di mana kita di mana kita P N Gupta pasti jenama Gupta terus terus semua yang ada di bawah mata. Doktor P Damodar Rao yang ada di bawah mata. M S Putra yang ada di bawah mata. Modal ini semester Kanada Patrika K H Kozi Patri. Yang mana seputar mana negara itu boleh mana di pihak semester negara ke next five nama orang itu ter. Si pada ye samsetta pertama rank. Si Durga Sharda Kota yang mana samsetta aja yang mana samsetta yang kedua kat itu. Jika awak sibuk cukup ni sibuk apa? Shabya yang Hindi pertama rank. Bisho bide negara college ambang kata mama dulu. Sri Narayan Rao Malkets Maharata Chinnata Padaka. Rakshita Vityasa Pratima Rai, Sarakari Pradabha Dharja College Hago Vikit Adhyayana Samshtet Dhenga Dhidu Rupi. Dr. Padur Durraj Patshmarata Chinnata Padaka. Even with the Dr. Durraj Patshmarata Chinnata Padaka. Dr. P. Gurraj Bhattu Smaraka Nagadu Bhomana, Prof. P. Shetani Felicitation Committee Nagadu Bhomana, Dr. M. V. Shetri Smaraka Nagadu Bhomana. Roshan Disoza, Iti Ahasa Mathu Puratattva Shastra Pratamaraj, Vishwavidya Naira College Mamadu Rupan Kattra, Divangatta Kishore Kumar Shetri Smaraka Chinnata Padaka.
ಅನಿಮೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿಶ್ವಲ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಪದವಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಅರ್ಹರಾಗಿರುವ ಅಭ್ಯರ್ಥಿಗಳ ಯಾದಿಯನ್ನು ರೂಪಿಸುತ್ತಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಅವರನ್ನು ಆಯಾ ಪದವಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಅಂಗೀಕರಿಸಬೇಕೆಂದು ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಮತ್ತು ತಂತ್ರಜ್ಞಾನ ನಿಕಾಯದ ಪದವಿ ಪಡೆಯಲಿರುವ ಎಲ್ಲ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಅಭ್ಯರ್ಥಿಗಳು ಎದ್ದು ನಿಂತು ಗೌರವಾನ್ವಿತ ಕುಲಾಧಿಪತಿಗಳಿಗೆ ವಂದಿಸಿ ತಮ್ಮ ಸ್ಥಳಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಕುಳಿತುಕೊಳ್ಳಬೇಕು ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಮತ್ತು ತಂತ್ರಜ್ಞಾನ ನಿಕಾಯದ ಉಪಸ್ಥಿತ ಚಿನ್ನದ ಪದಕ ವಿಜೇತ ಅಭ್ಯರ್ಥಿಗಳು ಅವರ ಹೆಸರುಗಳನ್ನು ಕರೆದ ಹಾಗೆ ವೇದಿಕೆಗೆ ಬಂದು ಗೌರವಾನ್ವಿತ ಕುಲಾಧಿಪತಿಗಳಿಗೆ ವಂದಿಸಿ ಪದಕ ಬಹುಮಾನ ಮತ್ತು ಪದವಿ ಪತ್ರಗಳನ್ನು ಸ್ವೀಕರಿಸಿ ತಮ್ಮ ಸ್ಥಳಗಳಿಗೆ ಹಿಂದಿರಬೇಕು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶಿವಾನಂದ ನಾಯಕ್ ಜಿ ಜೀವ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಚಿನ್ನದ ಪದಕ ನಗದ ಬಹುಮಾನ ಪತ್ರವಾಗಿ ಕೇಳಿದರು ಉಪಸ್ಥಿತರು ಹರ್ಷಿತ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಪ್ರಾಣಿಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಪದ್ಮನಾಯನ್ ಅನ್ವಯಿಕ ಪ್ರಾಣಿಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಸ್ನಾತಕೋತ್ತರ ವಿಭಾಗ ಮಂಗಳೂರು ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾನಿಲಯ ಮಂಜೇಶ್ವರ ಮುಖ್ಯದತ್ರ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಚಿನ್ನದ ಪದಕ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಕೆ ಕೆ ವಿಜಯಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಚಿನ್ನದ ಪದಕ ಶ್ರೀ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಭಂಡಾರಿ ಸ್ಮಾರಕ ಶ್ರೀಕರ್ ಚಿನ್ನದ ನಗದ ಬಹುಮಾನ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕುಮಾರ್ ನಾಯರ್ ಸ್ಮಾರಕ ವಿಜಯಮಾನ ನಾಯರ್ ಅರ್ಹತಾ ಪ್ರಶಸ್ತಿ ರಮ್ಯ ರಸಾಯನಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಪುತ್ತನಾಯನ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಜಿ ಶಂಕರ್ ಸರ್ ಸರ್ಕಾರಿ ಮಹಿಳಾ ಪದವಿ ಪ್ರಥಮ ದರ್ಜೆ ಕಾಲೇಜು ರಮ್ಯ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಕೆ ಎಂ ಅಬ್ದುಲ್ ಖಾದರ್ ಚಿನ್ನದ ಪದಕ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಎಂ ಆರ್ ಗಜೇಂದ್ರ ಗಣ್ ನಗದ ಬಹುಮಾನ ಮಧುರಾ ಪಿ ಕೆ ರಸಾಯನಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಸ್ನಾತಕೋತ್ತರ ವಿಭಾಗ ಮಂಗಳೂರು ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾನಿಲಯ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಪಿ ಶಿವರಾಮ ಹೊಳ್ಳ ಚಿನ್ನದ ಪದಕ ರೂಪಶ್ರೀ ಸಾವಯವ ರಸಾಯನಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಪ್ರಥಮ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ರಸಾಯನಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಸ್ನಾತಕೋತ್ತರ ವಿಭಾಗ ಮಂಗಳೂರು ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾನಿಲಯ ಸಿಂಜನ್ ಚಿನ್ನದ ಪದಕ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಲ್ ಲಿಯ ಮಕರನಸ್ ಕೈಗಾರಿಕಾ ರಸಾಯನಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಪ್ರಥಮ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಕೈಗಾರಿಕಾ ರಸಾಯನಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಸ್ನಾತಕೋತ್ತರ ವಿಭಾಗ ಮಂಗಳೂರು ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾನಿಲಯ ಐಕ್ಯೂಎಸ್ ಚಿನ್ನದ ಪದಕ ಸಿಂಜಿಂಗಾ ಚಿನ್ನದ ಪದಕ ನಿತೀಶ್ ಅಂಬೈಕ ರಸಾಯನಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಪ್ರಥಮ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ರಸಾಯನಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಸ್ನಾತಕೋತ್ತರ ವಿಭಾಗ ಮಂಗಳೂರು ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾನಿಲಯ ಸೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೈಂಟಿಫಿಕ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಚಿನ್ನದ ಪದಕ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ತಿಮ್ಮೇಗೌಡ ಚಿನ್ನದ ಪದಕ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಎಂ ಜಿ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮಾಣು ಜೀವವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರಥಮ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮಾಣು ಜೀವವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಸ್ನಾತಕೋತ್ತರ ವಿಭಾಗ ಚಿಕ್ಕಬಳ್ಳಾಪುರ ಕೊಡಲು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಭೈರಪ್ಪ ಚಿನ್ನದ ಪದಕ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಚಿನ್ನದ ಪದಕ ವೈದ್ಯ ಪಾಟಲ್ ಪಾಟಲನಾರಾಯಣ ಪಂಡಿತ್ ಪ್ರಶಸ್ತಿ ಮಂಗಲ ಬಹುಮಾನ ಸುಶ್ಮಿತಾ ಕೆ ಭೌತಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಪ್ರಥಮ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಸಂತ ಫಿಲಮನ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ದರ್ಜೆ ಪುತ್ತೂರು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಕೆ ಸಿದ್ದಪ್ಪ ಚಿನ್ನದ ಪದಕ ಇಂಟರ್ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ರೀಸೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ನಾಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬಯೋಫಿಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಚಿನ್ನದ ಪದಕ ನೋಬಲ್ ನಾರೇಟ್ ಸರ್ ಸಿ ವಿ ರಾಮನ್ ನಗದ ಬಹುಮಾನ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಂ ಐ ಸಾವಿರದ ಪಿ ನಗದ ಬಹುಮಾನ ರಶ್ಮಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಕಾಣಿಸೋದ ಗ್ರಂಥಾಲಯ ಮತ್ತು ಮಾಹಿತಿ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರಥಮ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಚಿನ್ನದ ಪದಕ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಕೆ ಎಸ್ ದೇಶಪಾಂಡ್ ನಗದ ಬಹುಮಾನ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಸ್ ಕೆ ಕೆ ಗೌಡ ನಗದ ಬಹುಮಾನ ದಿವ್ಯ ಭಾರತಿ ಓ ವಸ್ತು ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರಥಮ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ವಸ್ತು ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಸ್ನಾತಕೋತ್ತರ ವಿಭಾಗ ಮಂಗಳೂರು ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಜಂಗಪ್ಪರ ಉಚ್ಚ ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಚಿನ್ನದ ಪದಕ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ಉಚ್ಚಂಗಸಲಯ ನಗದ ಬಹುಮಾನ ರೂಬಿ ಮರ್ಲಿನ್ ಪಿಂಟೋ ಗಣಿತ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಪ್ರಥಮ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಗಣಿತ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಸ್ನಾತಕೋತ್ತರ ವಿಭಾಗ ಮಂಗಳೂರು ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾಲಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಅನಂತಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚಿನ್ನದ ಪದಕ ಕೆ ಎಂ ರಾಮನಾಥ್ ಪ್ರಭು ನಗದ ಬಹುಮಾನ ರಾಮಾನುಜಮ್ ಚಂಟಿನಲ್ಲಿ ನಗದ ಬಹುಮಾನ ವೇದಾವತಿ ಮಂಜು ಗೋಲ್ಡ್
Master of Commerce, Insurance and Bank Management, Master of Business Administration, Master of Business Administration, Tourism and Travel Management, Master of Interaction Business, Master of Commerce, Human Resources Development, Bachelor of Commerce, Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Auto Management, Padavi Gadige, Adharagi Ko Yadi Yenu, Uppisu Chidde Ne, Avonano Aya Padavi Gadige Engen Sathek Yenu, Prakti Sutte Ne, Vani Te Nika Yala, Padavi Kode Yuva, Yalla Adhyarthi Gadu, Yeddu Nintu, Kuladi Padavi Gadige Vandi Si, Tama Sala Gadige Kodutu Kodu Beko, Vani Te Nika Yala, Uppisu Chidde Ne, Vani Te Nika Yala, Padavi Gadige Vandi Si, Tama Sala Gadige Kodutu Kodu Beko, Vani Te Nika Yala, Uppisu Chidde Ne, Vani Te Nika Yala, Padavi Gadige Vandi Si, Bahumana, matu, pada ibu tiga orang bersih kerjasi, tamat sekali lagi interaksi itu. Masa pertama, sini dapat apa? Nampak bahumana, pertama mana kita teru, upah sini teru. Cita mana yang ke? Yang pertama pertama mana? Berjalan jalan kalau itu, cuma ni ke? Cuma ti, lelaki zaman lama, kodi anak, semua orang cina dapat apa? Makan orang kodi pertama, sepani orang cina dapat apa? Lagi nak pertama, yang pertama mana sih jauh nak main, anda nak main, mana orang cuci jalan ya? Jauh ke sisi mana kerja ya? शिक्षण निकाय गणित वित्ता कुलाद कुलाद के दिगड़े शिक्षण निकाय डॉक्टर फिलोसफी मास्टर ऑफ एजुकेशन मास्टर ऑफ फिजिकल एजुकेशन बैचलर ऑफ फिजिकल एजुकेशन बैचलर ऑफ एजुकेशन पदवी के लिए अधर आगेर वावरा याद याद उपस्थित दे दे और उन्हें आया पदवी के लिए आगे अंगी कर सके कि वो प्रार्थित से नहीं। शिक्षण लिखा है जब पदवी पढ़े थे वो आज लाख व्यक्ति को लेते हैं तो खुलाते पति के लिए वांधे सी तमाम सारे लड़ाई लिखूं लिखूं पढ़ा बे। शिक्षण लिखा है उपस्थित चिन्ह पद का विजेता व्यक्ति करूं और हैसर बड़ों पर द Master of Physical Education, Akshay K, M.K. Pratamarayan, Dharika Shikshan Vipaga, Mangal Vishwa Vijayana, Ashwini Shetty and Gautam Shetty, Smarta Kinnadapada. Let all the candidates stand up. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chancellor of Mangalore University, I admit all the presented candidates to all undergraduate, postgraduate degree, postgraduate diploma, and Doctor of Philosophy under the faculties of Arts, Science, and Technology, Commerce, and Education of this university, and in token thereof, the have been presented with the degrees in respective faculty. Thank you. Bangalore Vishwavidyanilayala Nalvattane Varshika Katikoso Dalli Mukhya Atitikala Gidhu Katikoso Vashana Mada Leguva Sarvoch Nyayalayada Govar Manvika Nyayadishrata Justice S. Abdul Nazir Ravane Syndicate Matthu Vidya Vishayaka Parishatthima Sadasir Gale Yella Nikayagala Dinar Gale Vishwavidyanilayada Adhikari Vrindha Dabane अध्यापक मत अध्यापक के तरफ बंदूक ले, गवर्नर डॉक्टरेट पदवी स्वीकारी सिरुआ साधक करे, पदवी स्वीकारी सिरु आगमी सिरुआ हिम्मे या विद्यार्थी विद्यार्थी नेरे और हेत्ता और आगु पोष्य करे, समुच्चोधना विद्यार्थी करे, विशेष आवानी तर करे, पत्रिका मत दृश्य माध्यम गला सन्मित्र रे, इमेलरन आत्मीय वाक्य स्वागत इस दिन है। इन मुंगर के नन्हा भाषण वालों आंगल भाषा ये लिखने वाले सब निम्न लरा अनुमति कोरोत इस दिन है। At the very outset, I extend a respectful and hearty welcome to His Excellency Sri Thavar Chand Gehlot Ji, Chancellor and Governor of Karnataka, who is presiding over the 40th annual convocation of our university. I welcome you, sir. It's a great honor. And a matter of pride to cordially welcome the Chief Guest, His Lordship, Justice S. Abdul Nazir, Honorable Judge, Supreme Court of India, who will be delivering the 40th Annual Convocation Address. I welcome you, sir. I also deem it my privilege to extend a warm welcome 
to Srimati Samira Nazir. I welcome you, Madam. I welcome the honorable members of our Syndicate and Academic Council, recipients of honorary doctorate, our teaching and non-teaching staff, degree recipients and their parents, special invitees, people of goodwill, and friends from print and electronic media to this 40th annual convocation of our university. Mangalore University was established on September 10, 1980 as an offshoot of the University of Mysore with a dream of becoming a university with a difference. Over the past 42 years, Mangalore University has grown in stature and earned a respectable position among the higher education institutions in the country. We have achieved greater strides in terms of infrastructure development, strengthening academic ambience, the introduction of new academic programs, and signing of Memorandum of Understandings in tune with aspirations of National Education Policy 2020, recent publications and projects, outreach activities, improved student well-being and learning experiences. We promise to continue and build on the best practices and good traditions established by the previous eight vice chancellors and to implement new initiatives demanded by the changing circumstances and expectations of our stakeholders. We are marching towards excellence with a philosophy of continuity with change and continuous learning, improvement and development. For the first time, we could successfully implement our own examination software, MU Links, for the smooth conduct of examination with the support, involvement and commitment of our syndicate and the registrar evaluation team. Further, we have also succeeded in effectively implementing the state government initiated unified university and college management system for e-governance and examination processes under NEP 2020 from this academic year. Among other things, during 2021-22, we had effectively managed the challenges of COVID-19 pandemic, started implementing the aspirations of NEP 2020 by introducing four-year multidisciplinary holistic undergraduate honors program by timely and appropriately addressing the concomitant concerns, apprehensions and challenges providing hygienic and delicious food in the food court at subsidized prices, community engagement and service learning through village and school adoption programs with the support, involvement and commitment of our NSS, Youth Red Cross, NGOs and study centers and endowment chairs, effective maintenance of wall of kindness and public restroom facility, free midday meal scheme to the poorest of poor PG students on the campus, functional training and placement cell, construction of SCST Girls Hostel through funding from All India Council for Technical Education, finalization of long pending seniority list of teaching and non-teaching staff, enhanced budget provision of rupees 5 crore for the welfare of SCST students, researchers and staff for the financial year 2022-23, formulation and implementation of a cultural policy, displaying cultural artifacts on the campus depicting the cultural identity of Kodagu, Udupi, and Dakshinagara districts, <coughs> university research fellowships to a few meritorious OBC and GM candidates not getting financial assistance from any other sources, and seed money for young faculty members to undertake minor research projects in socially relevant areas. New academic programs to be launched during the academic year 2022-23 include five years integrated MBA, Health, Safety and Environment, 5 years integrated MCOM, Business Data Analytics, Master of Public Health, 5 years integrated MSc Electronics, MSc Molecular Biology. On the other hand, some of the proposed initiatives for the academic year 2022-23 include launching of student adalas, installation of statues of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar and Swami Vivekananda, completion of the construction of international students hostel complex, and housing of Pariksha Bhavan. A few academic departments, dedicated rooms in the block for VVIP guests, starting a few PG programs in advanced science come PG center at Velapu, Udupi district from the academic year 2022 23, filling up of vacant teaching and non teaching positions with the approval of state government and the chancellor. Augmenting of <coughs> internal resources through capping of CSR funds, alumni support and public-private partnerships.
I take this opportunity to present the data of candidates who have appeared and successfully completed the degrees for the year 2021-22, BSc 1, Doctor of Philosophy 153, out of 5,069 candidates appeared for postgraduate examinations, 4,526 have passed the examinations, out of 1,335 postgraduate students appeared for examinations in autonomous institutions, 1,300 have passed. Out of 27,427 undergraduate candidates appeared, 18,379 passed. Out of 3,227 undergraduate candidates appeared in autonomous institutions, 2,755 passed. I am proud to inform you that 52 students have been conferred upon with gold medals and 57 students have been conferred with cash prizes for their outstanding academic performance. 69 students are first time holders. I wish all the students great success and a sense of achievement in all their future endeavors. Now, let me introduce Honorable Judge, Supreme Court of India, Justice S. Abdul Nasir, who is going to deliver 40th Annual Convocation Address in a short while from now. His Lordship was born on January 5th, 1958 in an agriculture family in Bedwai village, Karkala Talu, now Mangalore Talu. His Lordship had elementary and high school education at St. Thomas Higher Primary School, Alanga, Mudubidri, and Jain High School, Mudubidri. His Lordship joined Sri Mahavira College, Mudubidri, and completed graduation in the year 1979. His Lordship joined Sri Dharmasthala Manjunathyashwara Law College in Angalore in the year 1979 and obtained law degree in the year 1983. His Lordship was enrolled as an advocate on 18 February 1983 and joined the chambers of Sri M. K. Vijayakumar, a leading advocate at Karkara in the year 1983 and practiced with Karkara for some time. His Lordship shifted to Bangalore and joined the chambers of Sri K. S. Kasim, advocate. Later on, his lordship joined the chambers of Sri V. Tarakaran, a senior counsel. His lordship set up independent practice in the year 1995. His lordship practiced in the High Court of Karnataka mainly on civil, taxation, education, and land acquisition matters. His lordship was appointed as an additional judge of the Karnataka High Court on May 12, 2003, and was appointed as permanent judge of the High Court of Karnataka, Bangalore on uh, 24-9-2004. His Lordship was elevated as Judge of the Supreme Court of India on 17 February 2017. Now I have the honor to request Honorable Judge Justice S. Abdul Nazir to deliver the convocation address. Sir, please. Mata Regula Namaskar. President of today's function, His Excellency Sri Tavarchan Gelodji, Chancellor and Governor of Karnataka, Professor P. Subramanya Edapaditaya, Vice Chancellor, Professor Kishor Kumar Sikhe, Registrar, Professor P. L. Dharma, Registrar Evaluation, Members of the Syndicate and Academic Council, faculty members, officers, staff of the university, parents and guardians of the students, my dear, dear, dear students, distinguished invitees and friends. So far, Bora Kodu English I had then just not good. I am delighted to have been invited as a chief guest for the 40th Annual Convocation of Mangalore University by Professor P. Subramane Kedapaditaya. I am honored to have the opportunity of witnessing the conferral of degrees to so many young graduates of Mangalore University. Today marks a very important occasion as today our country will begin to benefit from the fruits of labor of the exceptionally talented batch of students of the university who are graduating here. I am proud to note that in the past 
four decades, the university has grown into an expansive, multidisciplinary institution. On this important occasion of the university's 40th annual convocation, I congratulate Mathur Sri Srimati Hemavati V. Hegade, Sri Hari Krishna Punaru, and Sri Devadas Tapika, who have been awarded honorary doctorate degree by the Mangalore University. I think uh, they richly deserve this degree, sir. I also extend my best wishes and congratulations to the students who are being awarded their degrees as well as to their proud parents, their guides, their professors, faculty inspectors and the entire staff at Mangalore University. Given that the nation is currently proudly celebrating Indian democracy through the Azadika Amrut Mahotsav, to commemorate 75 years of Indian democracy and independence. I think it would be a suitable occasion to talk a little about correlation between education and democracy. Sorry, my throat is a bit... <laughs> Democracy has a close relationship with education. The principles of democracy like liberty, equality, fraternity, dignity of the individual, cooperation, sharing responsibility, etc. are the dimensions which deeply influence education. On the other hand, education at various stages and dimensions intrinsically motivates a democratic way of life. Democratic values or principles are applied to education to make it more effective, meaningful, relevant and useful. Similarly, without education, democracy cannot be a success as individuals of a civilized society are to know the rights and duties of the citizens if they are to function on a democratic pattern in their daily life. Democracy in order to be a reality, a way of life and a living style has to be introduced from the very beginning of the education and its values practiced in schools, colleges and universities. Education is, most, is the most direct path for building a democratic culture. Such a path requires an education that views teaching and learning as part and parcel of the same process that allows for consensus building with room for dissent that presents reality with all its problems and fosters critical thinking. A democratic education is one that is anchored in facts and data and helps form opinions based on a respect for diversity in beliefs and values without losing sight of the common good. Education for democracy is much more than educating young people on the merits of representative democracy Rather, it is, a, it is premised on the need to form civic and ethical values in order to allow them to become free, informed and critically minded citizens capable of acting responsibly to transform their environment. Democracy has always found education as its greatest support and constant company. Without education, democracy has limited relevance and effectiveness and without democracy, education loses its meaning. Democracy and education here a reciprocal relation and one cannot try without the other. Democracy believes in giving freedom to the people. But if they are not educated, then their freedom may lead to anarchy and is indiscipline. Economic self-sufficiency is also necessary for democratic education. There are some commonly accepted preconditions for success of education for democracy. These include the following. One, there should be economic betterment of the people. Democracy cannot be established or maintained if the basic needs of the people remain unfulfilled. The people may be prepared to forego their political freedom if this freedom does not help to solve their problem of bread and butter. Second, the, C, the second pre 
condition is that is the formation of an educated electorate. Democracy can function properly only when the people are educated and are conscious of their rights and duties. Education provides people with capacity for better judgment regarding the right and wrong, just and unjust. Otherwise, a small group will assume the control over government of the state and begin to exploit the masses. The basic aims of education for democracy are development of a balanced and harmonious human personality, building of a character, moral and ethical development, and training for an efficient and productive existence in a society or culture. It is imperative, therefore, that programs and practices of educational institutions should be formulated in such a way that the objectives of education in a democratic society can be properly realized. The development of a well-integrated and harmonious personality of an individual is essential in a democracy. Every student should be a full should, should be given a full chance to develop themselves as an individual personality so that they, they might be able to enjoy life through the exercise of their capacities and should be alive to the realities and possibilities of the world around them. They should know how to play their part as an active member of his community. They should be equipped adequately to contribute to the society through their occupation. They should also know how to be in effective communication with their fellow countrymen and women by articulation and creative activities. Character building involves moral and ethical development of individuals. This means inculcation of human values such as honesty, sincerity, commitment and integrity. These are essential qualities for members of a democracy and education has to develop these in these in individuals. Since the students of today are the citizens of tomorrow, they need to be trained in citizenship for an efficient and productive existence in a democratic society or culture. This involves making judgments on complicated personal, economic, social and political issues and also contributing to society by way of work. To be effective, a democratic citizen should have the understanding and the intellectual integrity to sift truth from falsehood, truth from falsehood, and must develop a scientific attitude to think objectively and base his conclusions on tested grounds. He should also have an open mind, responsive to new ideas, and not confined within the prison walls of outmoded customs, traditions and beliefs. The development of the capacity for productive work is also an essential requirement of education for democracy. In a democratic society, universities ought to stress the duties and responsibilities of individual citizens. They have to stress the importance of a deep work and the values of empathy, compassion and sharing emphasis being on the good of the community. The true function of university in a democracy therefore is to provide for an enrichment of individual life and the harnessing of individual innovation and excellence for the progress of the entire society. The university should help in developing the innate potentialities of the children and produce youth as disciplined, creative, so sociable and cooperative members of the society. The university, in order to discharge its responsibilities for citizenship training and optimization of the student capacities, has to function on democratic lines. The curricular and the co-curricular activities should be organized in such a manner that all components of the system, namely the teachers, the students and the community, work as a coherent whole and nobody feels left out of left out or repressed. The university management and organization have to be participatory. 
the methods of teaching should promote congenial discussion in a nurturing atmosphere. The evaluation techniques, methods and process, processes in the university have to be transparent, flexible, objective and scientific. The climate of university life and dynamics of human relations are important factors which pupils can learn about the way of life and values, their influence, their impersonal relations and the all-round development of their personality. Learning experiences in universities make or mark the growth of democratic life. Education is not a preparation for life. Education is life itself, friends. University is not the replication of society, it is a society itself. The university sets out deliberately to devise the right environment for the students to allow them to be themselves and to develop in a way and pace appropriate to them. It tries to equalize opportunities and to compensate for handicaps. It lays special stress on individual discovery on first-hand experience and on the opportunities for creative work. It insists that knowledge must not fall into the neatly separated compartments and that work and play are not opposites but complementary. A student brought up in such an atmosphere at all stages of his education has some hope of becoming a balanced and mature adult and of being able to live to contribute to and look critically at the society. Robots are created, we don't want robots here. Today, in 2022, the preeminence of the knowledge society is undeniable. Education and educational institutions are the building blocks of this knowledge society. Education plays a cardinal role in transforming a society into a civilized nation. It accelerates the progress of a country in every sphere of national activity. The very democratic foundation of our nation, as enshrined in our constitution, recognizes the role and importance of education. Under our constitution, the state is duty-bound to develop a scientific temper, humanism, and the spirit of inquiry and reform as well as to strive towards excellence in all spheres of individual and collective activity so that the nation constantly rises to higher levels of endeavor and achievement. None of these goals can be achieved or ensured except by means of education. It is well accepted by the thinkers, philosophers and academicians that if justice, liberty, equality and fraternity, including social, economic and political justice, the golden goals of the Constitution of India are to be achieved. Our nation has to be educated and educated with excellence. Education is a national wealth which must be distributed equally and widely in the interest of creating an egalitarian society. Thus, the role of education in sustaining our democratic values is undeniably crucial. In a democratic country, people elect their representatives to work for the quality life and inclusive growth opportunity for, opportunities for them. The quality of public representatives in turn depends on the quality of the people who vote for them. So the root cause of problems as well as the solution lies with voters. They must be properly educated to choose their leaders. University students around the globe are acutely aware that they are entering professional world at a tenuous socio-political moment as the resilience resilience of the democracies is tested and autocratic movements are on the rise. Regardless of which field students enter or which country they call, they call home, it is imperative that the university experience prepares them with the habits of healthy democracy. Students do not come into higher education with perfectly developed competences for democratic culture. And universities cannot just copy what has been developed for primary and secondary education. 
higher education students are older and presumably more mature than those at primary and secondary schools and most of, most of them will be able to vote and exercise their full right as citizens. They should also participate more fully in governance of their institutions. Universities should not consider the job of educating active critical citizens as done, but as a job to be continued. In my view, there are few broad strategies at, that Mangalore University and other Indian universities can adopt to include democratic habits into their students. I have analyzed institutionalized civic internship, I will not read this. Reach out every student. We then maximize opportunities for democratic practices on campuses. Then encourage civil resistance. Then culture of democracy in study programs. Then engage in the whole institutions and beyond. As, this dedicate, as dedicated centers for the study of democracy sprout up around the world, which are exciting, necessary and inspiring in initiatives to be sure, universities must also dedicate themselves to living these values, embedding them in the student experience and providing students with tangible opportunities to appreciate their impact. With attention to these practices today, we can empower the next generation of leaders in every field to usher in a more democratic future. Finally, I would call upon the graduating students to reflect upon all that we have discussed here today. I want to ask all of you, what is your contribution going to be in furthering our nation's democracy? What will future chief guests who come here after 20 or 50 years later, maybe in my place or maybe in our governor's house place, say about the contribution of Mangalore University for strengthening Indian democracy? What will you and the university stand when our nation's Azadika Amrit Mahasso reaches its centenary and beyond? I am confident that during your time here at Mangalore University, you have had time to reflect upon these questions and choose your own path. I believe that the seeds of achieving this goal of self-reliance have already been sown at Mangalore University. The achievements of the university over the past four decades are commendable and aligns perfectly with the democratic ideals of our beloved nation. I am grateful to Vice Chancellor Professor P. Subramanya Paditaya for inviting me to this seminal event. I congratulate and extend my best wishes to all students with a strong belief that their knowledge, expertise, potential would be immensely helpful to the progress of our country. I conclude by thanking the families and teachers of graduating students for supporting this group of immensely, immensely talented students. Thank you. Jai Hind. It is well accepted by the education is a national and egalitarian society. Thus the role of education in sustaining our democratic values is undeniably crucial. To work for the quality active critical citizens to be continued. In my view, there are two broad strategies at that Mangalore University सर्वोच्च न्यायालय के माननीय न्यायाधीश आदरणीय एस अब्दुल नजीर साहब विश्वविद्यालय के वाइस चांसलर प्रोफेसर पी सुब्रमण्यम जी रजिस्ट्रार प्रोफेसर किशोर कुमार जी मूल्यांकन रजिस्ट्रार प्रोफेसर पी एल धर्मा जी मानद उपाधि से सम्मानित तीनों महानुभाव सिंडिकेट एवं अकादमी परिषद के सम्मान सदस्यगण संकाय अध्यक्ष एवं विद्वान शिक्षकगण और गैर शिक्षकीय अधिकारी एवं कर्मचारीगण उपाधि प्राप्त करने वाले विद्यार्थीगण और उनके परिवारजन सम्माननीय अतिथिगण देवी और सज्जनों नमस्कारा 
అమ్మేందుకు హార్దిక అభినందనలు ప్రసిద్ధి ప్రాప్త విశ్వవిద్యాలయ కి చాలీస్వే దీక్షాంత సమారోహ మే ఆప్ సబ్ కే బీచ్ మే ఆకర్ కే ప్రసన్న హు पिछले चार दशकों से इस विश्वविद्यालय ने अनेक उपलब्धियां हासिल की है और वो उपलब्धियां प्रशंसनीय हैं मैं उनकी प्रशंसा करता हूं आज हमने तीन महान भावों को भिन्न भिन्न क्षेत्रों में मानवीय सेवा करने के लिए ईश्वरीय सेवा करने के लिए और अन्य अन्य प्रकार की सेवा करने के लिए जिनके बारे में विस्तृत परिचय वाइस चांसलर साहब ने दिया है मैं उनको हार्दिक बधाई देता हूं शुभकामनाएं देता हूं और उनसे अनुरोध भी करता हूं कि आपने अभी तक के जीवन में बहुत अच्छे अच्छे काम किए हैं इसलिए इस विश्वविद्यालय ने आपको सम्मानित करने का निर्णय लिया निश्चित रूप से इस प्रकार का सम्मान जिसका हुआ है उनको भी जो काम वो करते आ रहे हैं आगे भी करते रहे ऐसी प्रेरणा इस सम्मान से लेने की जरूरत है मैं अनुरोध करता हूं मैं प्रार्थना करता हूं कि आप अपनी सेवाओं को निरंतर जारी रखेंगे और सक्रियता से पूरा करने की कोशिश करेंगे ठीक इसी प्रकार इस विश्वविद्यालय में अध्ययनरत विद्यार्थियों ने उपाधि प्राप्त की है गोल्ड मेडल भी हासिल किए हैं मैं उनको उनको और उनके परिवारजनों को भी बधाई और शुभकामनाएं देता हूं बाकी छात्रगणों से भी अनुरोध करता हूं जिस प्रकार से उन्होंने एकाग्रता के साथ और अच्छी पढ़ाई करके गोल्ड मेडल प्राप्त किया है उनसे प्रेरणा लेकर के उनका अनुसरण करके आप भी अच्छी पढ़ाई करें और इस विश्वविद्यालय का नाम गौरवान्वित करें उच्चतम न्यायालय के जज साहब ने शिक्षा और लोकतंत्र के बारे में विस्तार से बताया है भारत दुनिया का सबसे बड़ा लोकतांत्रिक देश है भारत का अपना संविधान है और उस संविधान में हमको मौलिक अधिकार दिए हम उन मौलिक अधिकारों को प्राप्त करने के लिए तो प्रयास करते ही हैं मेरा आपसे अनुरोध है बहुत लोग अपने मौलिक कर्तव्यों का एहसास भी करके मौलिक कर्तव्यों का भी अनुपालन करके समाज के हित में देश के हित में और जनता के हित में समाज को सुदृढ़ करने के लिए देश की जनता का सर्वांगीण विकास करने की दृष्टि से और संविधान को सुदृढ़ करने की दृष्टि से प्रयास कर रहे हैं और हमारा अपना कर्तव्य है कि हम इस प्रकार का प्रयास करें निश्चित रूप से भारत आजादी के पिछहत्तरवें वर्ष में सारे देश में अमृत महोत्सव आयोजित कर रहा है और अमृत महोत्सव में हमको आजादी से अभी तक इन पिछहत्तर वर्षों में हमने क्या किया और क्या करना चाहिए इस पर विचार करने की आवश्यकता है आने वाले 25 वर्षों में 
हम सोमी वर्षगांठ मनाएंगे और आज के ये सब युवा उसके प्रत्यक्ष दर्शी होंगे और आप स्वर्ण भारत देखें सर्वोपरि भारत देखें दुनिया में श्रेष्ठ भारत देखें इस प्रकार का प्रयास आपको और हमको करने की जरूरत है देश का आज का युवा कल का भावी कर्णधार है मैं आपसे अपेक्षा करता हूं कि कर्णधार होने के नाते हमारे जो पूर्वज हमसे अपेक्षा करके गए हैं कि इक्कीसवीं सदी भारत की सदी होगी भारत फिर से विष्णु गुरु होगा भारत फिर से सोने की चिड़िया कहलाने लगेगा इस प्रकार का वातावरण बनाने के लिए वो हमसे अपेक्षा कर गए मैं आपसे अनुरोध करता हूँ कि दिशा में हम जो भी कर सकते हैं सहभागिता निभा करके सहयोग करें और भारत को आत्मनिर्भर बनाए आप और हम सब देखते हैं कि कुछ देश ऐसे जो हमारे दो साल बाद रिपब्लिक हुए या आजाद हुए और विकसित राष्ट्रों की श्रेणी में उनका तीसरा चौथा स्थान है भारत में सभी प्रकार के संसाधन हैं और उन संसाधनों का उपयोग करने के लिए योग्यतम लोग भी हैं इन सब की योग्यता का उपयोग करके हम देश को ऊंचाइयों पर ले जाने का प्रयास करें इसी आचार विश्वास के साथ मैं आप सबको एक बार फिर से बधाई और शुभकामनाएं देता हूं और आपसे अपेक्षा करता हूं कि देशवासियों की जो अपेक्षा हमसे है वो अपेक्षा हम पूरी करने का प्रयास करें हम समाज के अभिन्न अंग हैं और अभिन्न अंग होने के नाते समाज और देश की सर्वोपरि मान करके परिवार के साथ भी जो अपने कर्तव्य है उनको निभाते हुए देश के हित में भी अपने कर्तव्यों का पालन करें धन्यवाद जय हिंद जय भारत Governor of Karnataka, along with his ADCs, taking the lead, we have the mace bearer, senior most dean, Professor Y. Muniraju. हर्षित कुमार अंत नानु मूलत पुतूर नंदे संजय पुजारी ताय सरस्वती नमु मूलत कृषिक फैमिली आगे नंदे वृत्ली बी डी कॉन्ट्राक्टर आगे रैंकन बेहतर है इे मूल कारण नम डिपार्टेंटर्स कूड़ा और हेली प्रतियो कूड़ा तुम सपोर्ट तुम एंकरेजा प्रति विद्यार्थी कूड़ा इंपारटेन्स इतमारे रैंक बरली पिश्रम अंतर ऐनू 
ಡೈಲಿ ಅವರು ಏನೇನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾಯಿದ್ರು ಅದನ್ನು ಡೈಲಿ ಆಗಿ ನೋಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಇದ್ರ ದಿನ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ನ ಟೈಮಲ್ಲಿ ಅದು ತುಂಬ ಸುಲಭ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಓದಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಮತ್ತು ನಾನು ಎಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಅನ್ವಯಿಕ ಪ್ರಾಣಿಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ವಿಭಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕನ್ನು ಪಡೆದಿರ್ತೇನೆ ನಾನು ಇದೇ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕಲ್ತಿರುವಂಥದ್ದು ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಎಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಜುವಾಲಜಿಯನ್ನು ಕಲ್ತಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರು ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮತ್ತು ಮುಂದಿನ ನನ್ನ ಗುರಿ ಏನಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ಪ್ರಸ್ತುತ ನಾನು ವಿವೇಕಾನಂದ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಬಿ ಎಡ್ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣವನ್ನು ಪಡೆಯುತ್ತಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಮುಂದೆ ನನಗೆ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಆಸೆ ಇದೆ ಮತ್ತು ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ವಿಭಾಗ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಉನ್ನತ ಹುದ್ದೆಯನ್ನು ಹೇರಬೇಕೆಂದು ಆದ ಆಸೆಯೊಂದಿಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ರಕ್ಷಿತಾ ಅಂತ ನನ್ನ ಊರು ಬಂದು ಸಚ್ಚರ್ಪೇಟೆ ಅಮ್ಮ ಲಲಿತಾ ಪೂಜಾರಿ ಅಂತ ಅಪ್ಪ ಉಮೇಶ್ ಪೂಜಾರಿ ಸೊ ಖುಷಿ ತುಂಬ ಖುಷಿಯಾಗ್ತಿದೆ ನನಗೆ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಬಂದಿದ್ದು ನಾನು ಸರ್ಕಾರಿ ಪ್ರಥಮ ದರ್ಜೆ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಮತ್ತು ಸ್ನಾತಕೋತ್ತರ ಅಧ್ಯಯನ ಕೇಂದ್ರ ತೆಂಕನಡಿಯವರು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಮ್ ಎ ಇತಿಹಾಸ ವಿಭಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಮೆಡಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ತುಂಬ ಖುಷಿಯಾಗ್ತದೆ ಸರ್ನ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಇಂದ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ತನಕ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಸುರೇಶ್ ರೈಕಿ ಸರ್ ಅವರಿಗೆ ತುಂಬ ನನ್ನ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳನ್ನು ಹೇಳಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಇಷ್ಟಪಡ್ತಿದ್ದೇನೆ ತುಂಬ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಕೂಡ ಬರಬೇಕಂತ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಮೆಡಲ್ ಬರಬೇಕಂತ ತುಂಬ ಕನಸಿತ್ತು ಅದು ಇವತ್ತು ನನಸಾಗ್ತಿದೆ ಖುಷಿಯನ್ನು ಹೇಳಿಕೆ ಆಗ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಮಕ್ಕಳಿಗೆ ವಿಶ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಬಯಸ್ತೀನಿ ಸುರೇಶ್ ರೈ ಸರ್ ಜೊತೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ವಿಶ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಕೂಡ ನಮ್ಮದು ಕಾಲೇಜಿದ್ದು ಸಪೋರ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಅಲ್ಲ ಎಲ್ಲ ಒಂದೇ ಥರ ನೋಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸಪೋರ್ಟಿವ್ ಯಾವ ಏನೋ ಇದು ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ದರೂ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ವೈಸ್ ಆಗಿ ತುಂಬ ಖುಷಿಯಾಗ್ತಿದೆ ಮನೆಯವರು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಮನೆಯವರು ನಿಮಗೆ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ನನ್ನ ಅಪ್ಪ ಅಮ್ಮ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಪ್ಪ ಅಮ್ಮ ಕೂಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಎಷ್ಟು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ತನಕ ಬರಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಕಾರಣನೇ ನನ್ನ ಅಪ್ಪ ಅಮ್ಮ ಹೇಳಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಇಷ್ಟಪಡ್ತೇನೆ ತುಂಬ ಕಷ್ಟಪಟ್ಟು ಓದಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ತನಕ ಮುಂದಕ್ಕೆ ಉನ್ನತ ಹುದ್ದೆ ಹೋಗುವ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಇದೆಯಾ ಉನ್ನತ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಂತಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಎಡ್ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಂತ ಇದೆ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ರಜನಿ ನಾನು ಮೂಲತಃ ಕಾಳವರ್ದೋಳು ಕುಂದಾಪುರ ತಾಲೂಕು ಎಮ್ ಎ ಮಾಡಿರೋದು ಪ್ರಥಮ ದರ್ಜೆ ಕಾಲೇಜು ತೆಂಕನಿಡಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಎಮ್ ಎ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಬರಬೇಕಂತ ಇದೆ ಸರ್ ಕರ್ಕೊಂಡೋಗಿ ಹಾಕಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಲೇಜಲ್ಲಿ ಸೇರಿಸಿ ಬರುವಾಗಲೇ ಕನಸಿತ್ತು ಎಮ್ ಎಲ್ ಇಗೆ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ತಗೋಬೇಕು ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಡಿಗ್ರಿಲಿ ಮಿಸ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಎಮ್ ಎಲ್ ಮಾಡಲೇಬೇಕಂತ ಇತ್ತು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಸಪೋರ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಗಿ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ದರು ಅಮ್ಮ ಅಪ್ಪ ಅಣ್ಣ ಮಾವಂದಿರು ಮಾಮಿ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಈವನ್ ಸರ್ಸ್ ಕೂಡ ಜೆ ಪಿ ಸರ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ವೆಂಕಟೇಶ್ ಸರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಶಾಲಿನಿ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಈವನ್ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಕಾಲೇಜಲ್ಲಿ ಸಹ ಚಂದ್ರತಿ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಮಮತಾ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಚಂದ್ರ ಸರ್ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಸಹ ತುಂಬ ಸಪೋರ್ಟಿವ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದರು ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಎಕ್ ಆರ್ ಸರ್ ಕೂಡ ಸಪೋರ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದರು ಇಡೀ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಸಹ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಸದ್ಯ ನಾನು ಯು ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಕೋಚಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರಲ್ಲಿ ಜೈಸ್ ಅಕಾಡೆಮಿ ಮುಂದಿನ ಕನಸು ಐ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ಕೆ ಎಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಂತ ಇದೆ ಈಗ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿನೂ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಂತ ಕನಸಿದೆ ನೋಡಬೇಕು ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಅಪ್ಪ ಅಮ್ಮ ಇಬ್ಬರು ಕೂಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸಾರಿ ಅಪ್ಪ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಮ್ಮ ಕೂಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಮ್ಮನ ಕೂಲಿ ಕೆಲಸದಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಮಾವಂದಿರಿಬ್ರು ಫೈನಾನ್ಷಿಯಲಿ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು ಅಣ್ಣನ್ಸ್ ಕೂಡ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾನೆ ನನ್ನ ಹೆಸರು ದೀಪಿಕಾ ನನ್ನ ತಂದೆ ಹೆಸರು ಜಯಕುಮಾರ್ ತಾಯಿ ಲಲಿತಾ ತಂದೆ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡೋದು ಕೂಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ